a harvest from hell. That's what some producers are calling this farming season, following a summer of poor weather conditions. It wasn't a great year. We had a lot of challenges with weather. Uh, the south was very dry, central to northern was quite wet, and harvest was horrible again. Some seeds have promised, though. Minister of Agriculture and Forestry Devin Dreeshen confirming funding would be secured for rural utilities, irrigation districts, and agriculture societies. The support payments that they would have in crop insurance or in agri-stability, those programs are, are the same. And so I, I, would, I would like farmers to know that, that the government is still supporting them at the same level as they, they always have been. Around 20,000 Albertans rely on agri-stability for crop insurance. This is a program that needs sweeping changes, according to Alberta Canola. Um, but the agri-stability program certainly needs some review. Uh, in a lot of cases, it doesn't give a lot of coverage for most farmers, just the way it's structured. So we either need to drastically restructure it or come up with a different program that helps farmers a lot better. Besides a tough harvest, one of the main issues facing farmers is getting exports to market. Recently, China reopened its doors to Alberta beef and pork after banning them for over four months. It was a good first step that now our, our beef and beef and pork exports are being reopened to China. Now the focus is on canola, with China still not accepting Canada's third largest grain export. We're cautiously optimistic that, that canola exports will resume, something that it's, it's so important and it's such a huge, huge issue for, for Western Canadian farmers, especially here in Alberta. Um, I don't see foresee anything to change in the near future. I'd like to, but I think... Uh, you know, the conversation hasn't really changed. Uh, China still isn't really speaking to the issues. Alberta Canola is predicting there will be a decrease in seeded acres if a solution isn't brought forward soon. Angie Mellon, CTV News, Red Deer.